All right, Logitech G402 review. This is just the software real quick. You can alter all the buttons in here. Change the DPI's 1 through to 5 and from 240 to 4000 DPI. Change the lighting settings. Um, brightness, breathing effect, DPI lighting always on. That's the DPI lighting down there. Uh, lighting sleep timer, change to 30 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever. I've got it turned off anyway, it doesn't matter. And you can test the uh, speed of it in here if you want to. All right, so the Logitech G402, just quickly give you a comparison next to the G502. These things are very similar. There are minor, minor differences. This one is of course the uh, more prestigious range, but it is a brick, it's so heavy. This is the very light version. So one of the biggest problems that I had with the G502 was the weight. And the G402 is about half, maybe even 40% of the weight. It feels very light, so in theory I should prefer this one over that one. Uh, it's a bit oddly shaped on this side, you can see the curvature there. But that said, it's not super uncomfortable or anything. It feels fine in the hand. Uh, I will just say that the buttons need some indentation. I don't know if you can see it, but they're just very rounded. Unlike these where you've actually got a bit of a groove going down there, so you can fit your finger in there nicely. So the shape isn't uncomfortable to hold but it's not the most comfortable either. I definitely prefer G302 or Death Adder. But that said, you know, um, if this is the sort of mouse design you go for, so if you're into the MX500 series, this might be the uh, next mouse for you, the upgrade. Okay, so for aiming and snipering, I found I could aim this mouse quite well, but the tracking wasn't quite there. I think it's just because of the size, but if your hand is bigger, then maybe it's fine. Again, 19 centimeters from the bottom there up to the top of the middle finger. So if your hand is a uh, similar shape and size and all that, this mouse might be a bit too big, but if it's bigger, this mouse might be the way to go. So I just find I can't track with these sorts of mice. Projectile though, so all your rockets and grenades and everything, it's fine, I can do that, no problem. Flicking, because it does have a bit of an awkward, very rounded shape. Um, this rounded back here doesn't quite fit in the hand as easily, so you can't get a, as good a grip. Um, so I didn't feel like I could flick it properly. That said, if you're using fingertip grip or claw grip, then you won't even notice that, so it won't be an issue. I'm a palm gripper, so I love being able to just hold the mouse full and then throw it around to my heart's content. So overall, I don't feel like I can really aim with this mouse. It's not bad, and I could get away with it, but if I'm trying to be good at the game, then probably not. So I won't give a marks on that one. The build? It feels good, the balance is fine, I can't tell if it's overweighted to one side, maybe a little bit to this side if anything, but not an issue. You can't add weights to this one, so it doesn't have those ex extra features. The uh, size, bit big for me, but should be okay for other people, so I'll give it a mark for that. It is a cool looking mouse, love the lights and all that, um, sorry the DPI lights, I'm not a, don't really care about all these backlights and everything, but I love having these DPI lights to let you know where you're at. Uh, so you can change on the fly and do it quickly. So you can just quickly glance down. Uh, the grips are really nice. I love the materials that they've used here, especially on this side. That's It feels cool. If it wasn't so curved, I'd probably like it more. But otherwise, you know, it's not going to be a problem. It actually feels quite good. Okay, just quickly on the buttons. Uh, you do have a good amount of buttons. None on the right side, of course. This is a right-handed mouse. You have one down here that I like to bind to push to talk. You have the uh, forward and back for the browsing and all that. And then you have the DPI switch up and down. And the mouse wheel of course like that. So let's just have a quick listen. And for comparison. much quieter. But these are just the loudest mouse buttons I've ever had. So this one is a really loud but bells and whistles mouse. This one's quiet, uh, silent when it comes down to it. Um, feels pretty good to use. The buttons are, they're actually well weighted. Uh, the ones I don't like are these ones, they feel a bit flimsy. The DPI buttons are fine, and this button's really nice down here too. So good, bad, good, 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 
kind of average, but it's alright. So overall, buttons are quite good on this thing. So the cable is very rubbery, just like the G302. They're not the best, so I'm not going to give them marks for that. You definitely want these really nice braided cables on the G502. But that said, you can find workarounds, as I showed you in the G302 video. So you just make a loop. Actually, I think I've already done that. Yeah, I have. So as long as you have a bit of a loop here, just to allow you to stress it a bit further than you usually would and it doesn't just break the cable, you should be fine. Uh, the extras, it does have the DPI lights and stuff, so I'll give it that. And price-wise, very competitive. This is a really cheap mouse considering what it actually gives you, or was from where I bought it anyway. Um, so overall, it's a good mouse. I'm not going to say it's great or ninja mouse, it's just good. Uh, if I had to use this for the rest of my life, I'd be like, yeah, cool, I'm not going to complain. It feels good enough. It's a nice mouse, but that said, I'm not going to get excited about it. So, as I'm thinking, like, I should prefer this one over this one. But I think if I'm going to go with this sort of shaped mouse, then I kind of want all the bells and whistles and I'll deal with the weight. Because uh, that's the biggest problem with this one, it's just so heavy. Uh, I would actually rather that just so I can have all the cool scroll wheel and all the little awesome things that this one does have. So, including the weight at the back that I've put in. So my recommendation would be the G502, however, if you've come from the MX500 series then and you're just looking for a lightweight, good first person shooter mouse, this probably would be the better buy for you. But if I'm just recommending to some random who has never played these games before, I would be recommending the G302 over the G402. So verdict, overall good mouse, I'll give it 75%, but not quite there. And yeah, this one got 70%, but for all the other games and all that, it's 80 to 90. It's just in first person shooters that I had to mark it down. So otherwise, definitely prefer this one, but this is still a good mouse. And for any readers out there of modern fantasy, I do have a free ebook to download of my series, The Heroes Fall. Just follow the links below to Smashwords or the main website and grab your copy too. Set in World War 4, crazy battles, lots of superpowers, all the epic stuff, go check it out. Thanks for watching, and of course, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.